Our next performer coming out now is uh, he's a natural rule breaker. I love this about him. He's amazing. He specialises in the area of awe and wonder. You're going to love him. Please welcome to the stage the amazing Adam Axford. Come on, Adam. Come on up. Where are you, bro? There he is. Hello, everyone. Good to be here. So I've got a confession. I'm a rule breaker. Yeah. All right. Good. As you should do, because rule breakers are innovators, right? Hear me out. Rule breakers are the pioneers. <laughs> rule breakers see potential outside of the parameters, beyond the boundaries, and that's my favorite place to do my stomping. My fascination lies with these powerful emotions of awe and wonder, right? Wonder and awe. So uh, before we sort of get into that, like what is awe, what is wonder, why do we need them, why are they so hard to get? So we'll start off with awe. Uh, awe can be described as an experience that impacts us with such intensity that it leaves a fucking crater behind. It, is, it forces us to challenge the way we think about the world. It, it makes us sort of assess our own understandings. Uh, like awe is something we are struck by. So look at other things we're struck by. We can be love struck, be star struck. We can be struck by lightning. We can be struck by a projectile or struck. And then there's wonder. Wonder is very similar, but it's a little bit more innocent. It's a little bit more childlike. I like to say that wonder is the wow before the how. Yeah, it's that feeling of, oh my God, right before we sort of, our logical brain starts kicking into gear and we start assessing how is it done. That's when the magic begins to fade. So today I want to unpack a few of these. We're going to like stretch out into the edges, onto the boundaries, break a few rules and, uh, and see if we can tap into these deep human emotions. Because some of us ain't felt that for years. Anyone with kids, I guess you live vicariously through the wonder in their eyes. And why is, or why is wonder so hard to get? Well, there's this experience that we undergo, all of us, and it's called hedonic adaptation. And it is this concept that we get bored really quick, even when things are fun. So like we walk in here and we see it and it's such a spectacle, but if you come here every day, then it fades, right? And it can be the same for anything. So wonder is like the romance between you and your life. And just like romance, if you don't work at it, it might fade into memory. So how do we combat this? Well, one way is this. We can create novelty. So Creating novelty, novel ideas, new things. We're so busy consuming our culture, like I'm guiltier than most, that we just sit there scrolling through six second videos that annihilate our receptors, and not realizing the real wonder is just like an inch above our phone screens, yeah? So if we start actively contributing to the pool of, of what we're taking from, creating new things, new experiences, then the wonder begins to seep back into our lives. Now I can talk about this all day, but I think we should start proving this point. 